Good morning, everybody. Todd Abel is doing night off, so I'm going to give you a little update what we did last night. I'll start up there in Division Alpha Alpha. We continue with the patrolling and monitoring that stuff and mopping up where we could. The best uh, thing we did to hopefully set you guys up for success last night was is we got that hose lay-in and that uh, line that you guys were working on in that division yesterday. Uh, they're probably, as we speak, finishing up getting the pumps in place and, and giving it a test. So the hose is in place. We're going to test it here shortly. Hopefully everything's good to go for you guys uh, today. Uh, coming into Hotel Hotel, um, once again, between the efforts of the structure group blue out there and the resources, uh, a lot of water was put in there last night to mop that stuff up. Um, we also had uh, the uh, unmanned Fox 1 drone flying last night. He picked up a couple little spots outside the line, and when I say little, I mean really little spots that the guys uh, were able to find, uh, which is kind of a neat tool for us at night to use. Uh, so we were in there taking care of that stuff. I mean, it was to the point where somebody had a handheld to actually find the little duffer that they found from the air. So cool tool we were using last night and uh, very successful. Uh, coming down into Bravo, uh, same thing. They were patrolling, monitoring, mopping up. Things are looking really good in there. And then Kilo Kilo is quiet. Um, you know, we may have to readjust some of that stuff because it's looking really good in there. So if you guys have any questions about last night, come find me afterwards. Be more than happy to talk about it. Thanks. Have a great day. Chris Hetzel, uh, Planning Ops for the team, talk about today's uh, current assignments. So we'll start in uh, Branch 3 with Alpha Alpha. Those crews are going to continue working on their primary and contingency lines along that uh, Taylor Creek, Gleese Creek, and uh, Bear Camp Road. Uh, moving into India, India, those crews are going to finish up their uh, primary line there work on that uh, 2402 road preparing for uh, firing operations along there uh, once again Sierra Sierra is unstaffed moving into uh, branch 4 we'll get into uh, Kilo Kilo X-ray X-ray a uh, cruiser can continue uh, mopping up getting in there a little further taking care of some hazard trees mitigating what they can uh, Bravo Bravo folks will be in there again today mopping up getting deeper as, the, as we go along each day. Each day we get a little further in and uh, we secure this up nice and tight. And the success story from last night is Hotel Hotel. Uh, great work like yesterday, uh, putting that firing in, holding it overnight. Uh, we do have a uh, contingency group that once again, they uh, continue to work on the north side of the Rogue River. As we move around, they'll move around and they stay out on the kind of an umbrella, ensuring that uh, they're ready to pick up anything that gets up over our primary lines. Morning, everybody. Uh, this morning, we'll still have our uh, three structure groups out there. Uh, Blue will continue to push gray up over the through the north area here um, while uh, maintaining that presence and securing the line here in Hotel Hotel. Uh, we'll have Structure Group Orange, who is our contingency group, that'll still be working to the north side of the Rogue River, um, but also they'll come in here and uh, help ease some of the, the resource needs in uh, Gleese Creek if needed. Have a good day and thank you. Tyler, information. As our incident commander talked to us this, this morning about last night's community meeting, I wanted to share with you the applause that was given in support of each one of you and your crews and what's happening here on this fire and uh, thank them so much for their hard work and they are working hard. Would you please let them hear you?